Hi everyone, welcome to my AuthorTube channel. My name is Meredith E. Phillips. I'm a writer, reader, and bunny mama. One year later. <sighs> Can you believe it's been a year? What? Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Meredith E. Phillips. I am a writer, reader, and bunny mama, and I have been on YouTube for a full year. I'm not sure where the year went because making that first video doesn't seem like all that long ago. I'm wearing the same shirt, did you notice? Did you, did you notice the shirt? <laughs> I think I'm wearing the same earrings too. I didn't check, but I would bet you anything I was probably wearing these. I I've had so much fun making videos, sharing my writing journey with you all, making new friends, meeting new people, chatting about our ideas, all of that stuff. I've had so much fun doing all of that over the last year. And I have to start this video by just saying thank you to you guys. I think if I hadn't had such amazing support and encouragement and excitement about me and my channel and my writing and all of that stuff, I don't think I would have stuck with it for this long. It takes a lot of work to put videos together and be consistent and if I felt like no one was really getting anything out of it, I don't think I would have continued. So thank you so much. I think if you look back at that first video, my first video was the AuthorTube newbie tag because who doesn't do that as their <laughs> first video? But if you look back at that video, which I'm not suggesting you do because it is a little bit it was my first video, what do you want? But if you look back at it in the comments, you will see people in the comments of that video from a year ago who are still in my comments today and you know, in the current videos that I'm posting. So thank you so much if you are one of those people who have stuck with me through all of those videos that I filmed with an iPhone 6. This, this filmed my videos back then. Now I'm not saying that you can't film videos on your phone. You totally can, but iPhone 6 video quality is not it's it's not amazing let's just let's just say that but yeah thank you so much to all of you who have been with me for a year now or almost a year and thank you for all the new subscribers I've gotten so many more people subscribing to this channel than I ever thought I would have <laughs> when I first started my channel last May my goal which I thought was a stretch goal was to have a hundred subscribers by the end of 2020 that was what I was really hoping for but almost didn't want to say out loud because I thought it was like way too many I was just thinking like there's never a hundred hundred people are gonna tune in to like listen to me chat about stuff no, but I have a lot more than that now and I'm just so grateful that you guys are here. So thank you, thank you very, very much for hanging out, for chatting with me in the comments, for being encouraging. I hope that I can continue to make videos that are entertaining and fun and helpful and inspirational and motivational and all of the things throughout the next year. So in this video, I wanted to just share some of my experiences, some of the pros of being on YouTube, some of the cons of being on YouTube. And I also wanted to give a few tips. I don't know if they're tips, suggestions, things to consider if you are thinking about starting your own YouTube channel. So so let me give you some pros and cons of creating videos on YouTube just so you have a, a very general idea of what you might be getting yourself into here. On the pro side, should we start with the pros or should we start with the cons? Do you want to hear the good first or the bad first? Let's start with the bad first, then we'll end on a high note, right? Okay, cons. Cons of posting uh, videos on YouTube. Two of the big things that I think is probably universal for most YouTubers is the fact that if you are trying to stick with a schedule, and my schedule of course is posting on Tuesdays and Fridays, um, it can be a little stressful. If you're feeling like you're behind or you've got a film and you don't have time or you're trying to finish an edit on a video and post it and do a thumbnail and like all the things, it can be a little stressful. That is one con. The other thing that kind of pairs a little bit with that is that there can be a little bit of anxiety related to coming up with video topics. There is a ton of stuff that has been done to death on AuthorTube. And you could certainly still make videos about those topics, um, especially if you have like a new idea connected with it or a new spin on it, definitely make a video about that. But of course, there's just some videos that have been done by everyone a million times and 
I usually try not to make videos like that because I feel like it's already been done. So stress and anxiety can definitely be a part of the YouTube experience if you're posting videos. There can also be elements of discouragement if you feel like you're not growing or people aren't watching your videos and you look at other people's videos and you're like, well, why are they watching that one and not mine? So there's definitely that kind of thing, the comparison game, of course. Like, I would love to say that I don't compare myself to anyone else, but come on. We literally all do it. We all do it. I think it's just part of our human nature to compare yourself to other people and how they're doing and what they're doing different and then what, what should you change or should you change? all that kind of stuff. So definitely those are the cons of being active here on YouTube, but there are many pros such as, I can't tell you how encouraging it is to get comments on videos where people are saying like, I feel the same way or I'm in the same boat, we're doing the same kind of thing together. That is so helpful to know you're not alone in your journey as a writer. Writing is of course a very sort of isolating, sort of hobby or career pursuit, depending on why you're writing. And sometimes it can feel like you're all alone in how you feel about it. And that's not true. There's tons of people who are going through the exact same thing. And we are all here on AuthorTube to share that. That's an awesome part of AuthorTube. The other great thing is there's so much inspiration and motivation here on all these different channels. If you ever feel like you're in a slump or you feel like you don't know what to write or you feel like your writing is crap, there's videos that will inspire you and get you motivated to keep working on your writing work. And of course, there's all of the lovely people. I can't think of a single person that has been mean or nasty to me, or that even I've seen like mean and nasty in someone else's comments. Like I just feel like the writing community here on YouTube is very small for sure, but it is so friendly. It is so easy to get plugged in and start meeting people and chatting and making friends. I just, it's a great place to be. And I think that's a really unique quality about the writing community. I know there's other bigger communities where people can just be nasty to each other and mean spirited and not kind. And I feel like the, the vast, vast majority of people here on YouTube in the writing community are just lovely, lovely people. So maybe you're considering joining AuthorTube. I definitely think that's a great choice for a lot of people. I won't say it's a great choice for everyone because everyone's different and I don't think this is a good fit for everyone. But if you are considering starting an AuthorTube channel, I have a few things to consider, a few things that you might wanna try out to see if this is gonna be a good fit for you. YouTube is a really great platform for authors to grow, but it's not the only platform. So I don't think you have to have a YouTube channel or anything like that. You can grow elsewhere and build an audience elsewhere if that's something that you want your channel to be for. So the first thing I think you should do, regardless of whether you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel, an Instagram account, a Twitter account, a TikTok account, whatever, the thing you should try to nail down pretty early on or before you start is your goal. Why are you doing this thing? If you just have a few ideas for videos you wanna to put together and you're not really serious about it and you don't care super a lot about growing a large number of subscribers or being really interactive in the comments, you just want to post when you want to post and you don't care about anything else, go for it. I do not think that is a problem. Do whatever you want. But if your goal is to really grow the platform, gain subscribers, gain followers, have an interactive community in the comments, that kind of thing, if you really want to grow a platform so that you can have a large author platform, then you need to be a little more strategic with how you approach it. Because if you're just willy-nilly posting videos whenever you feel like it and they're not always well put together or or they're just sort of thrown up whenever you feel like it, it's gonna be really hard to grow the platform and you're probably gonna get discouraged about it. So if you're really serious and you want your platform to grow, then you've gotta do some legwork and some research to figure out how YouTube works. I personally find a lot of that really interesting. It's all that kind of behind the scenes stuff that I love. And so I've really enjoyed over the last year learning about the YouTube algorithm, how it works, how to manipulate manipulate it to work for you. 
and all that kind of stuff. I think it's fascinating, so I really enjoy that part of it and all the sort of strategizing you can do. But if you're really not into that and you do not care about watching videos about the YouTube algorithm and trying to figure out how to make your channel more uh, shiny <laughs> to attract the algorithm to boost your video, if you don't care about all that, that's totally fine. But I think most people who see channel growth care about the algorithm. The other thing I would suggest trying to do if you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel is to make a list of at least 15 to 20 video ideas. If you want to make a channel, you got to have content. So what are you going to have your content be? Try to have the majority of those ideas be things that are fresh and unique and new or things that you have put your own spin on or that you haven't seen discussed in some way on AuthorTube before. The other thing I would do is create a YouTube account and I would suggest making and uploading a video. Go through the entire process of creating a video for YouTube. Now I'm not saying that you have to post it so that it's public. You can still go through the entire upload process and post the video as a private video to YouTube. Then nobody's gonna see it. It can't be accessed by anyone else. It'll just be there for you. But go through the whole process, come up with an idea, outline, the video in some fashion, film the video, edit the video, make a thumbnail for the video, do the details, the upload process, fill in the description, make tags for the video, do the entire process, and then step back and see how you felt about it. Did you enjoy it? Was it fun? Was it a creative outlet for you? If so, that's awesome. You'll probably enjoy doing videos. Think about doing that whole process. It takes a long time, <laughs> I'm just saying. Think about that whole process and how you feel about doing that whole process one or two times a week. I think most people generally tend to post at least once a week. A lot of us post twice a week. I post twice a week, of course. So think about how you're going to feel doing that same process one or two times a week for the coming future months. It's a lot of work. I think it's a lot of fun, so I don't mind doing it most of the time. Sometimes it is a little exhausting, but most of the time I have a lot of fun with it. But think about how you feel about that whole process. If you hated it, if you hated getting your camera set up, if you hated editing the video, if you hated making a thumbnail, then maybe this isn't the platform for you. But go through the whole video creation process and see how it makes you feel. The last thing I would suggest doing or thinking through is being realistic with your expectations for how your channel is going to grow. This is a very small community here on YouTube. In thinking about other writing related channels, I'm thinking the biggest ones I can think of are maybe like Jenna Marecci's, who has, I think, a about 250,000 subscribers at this point. But a lot of the channels have less than 100,000 subscribers and a lot, a lot of the channels have less than 1,000 subscribers. So if you're thinking you're going to make YouTube a career or you're going to make money in some capacity from YouTube videos, I'm not saying that that's not something that can happen, but the idea that these will become your sole source of income or a major source of income for you is probably unrealistic. I'm just, I'm just saying. It takes a long time to grow your platform. Look, I mean, again, I've been on YouTube for a year now. I have about 650 subscribers, which is great, not complaining, but I have made zero dollars in the last year from all of my video efforts. So it's not quick. Even when you do get to the point where you can monetize your channel, you're probably not gonna be making very much money from it. I will link two videos below, one from Brooke Passmore and one from Kate Kavanaugh. Brooke has about 7,000 subscribers and I think Kate has, I don't know if she's crossed the 40,000 subscriber line, but she's close. And earlier in the year, they posted videos sharing how much they make on YouTube. And I'm pretty sure Kate Kavanaugh said last year, all of 2020, she made about $11,000 from YouTube. That is nothing to sneeze at, first of all. That's a nice chunk of change. However, most of us are not going to be able to live on $11,000 for an entire year right? That's definitely going to pay some bills. Maybe it'll pay your rent if you're living somewhere relatively cheap. It would not pay my mortgage, but long story short, 
TLDR. If you're posting here on YouTube and you think you're going to be making a ton of money from it, think again, because you're probably not going to be making a lot of money anytime soon. And I think that goes back to the thing I originally talked about is what is your goal here? Is your goal to make money? This probably isn't the platform for that in this niche at least. If your goal is to have a good time and indulge in a creative pursuit or a creative outlet for yourself, make new friends, connect with other writers, then this is a great place for that. I have had a ton of fun here on YouTube over the last year. I'm really excited to see where my channel goes in the coming 12 months or the coming year. I have really no expectations in terms of where I'll be by this time next May, where I'll be by the end of this year. I'm just sort of along for the ride and I'm grateful for what I've been able to accomplish here and I'm grateful for you guys tuning in every week. So thank you very much again for that. Let me know in the comments if you are not currently on YouTube making videos. Is that something you're considering? Is that something you're maybe interested in and maybe a little bit nervous to try for the first time? I was definitely very nervous filming my first video and posting it and all that stuff. But let me know your thoughts on that. If you're on AuthorTube and you have tips for newbie author tubers, definitely share those in the comments as well. I'd love for it to be like a, a big amalgamation of all kinds of different tips and techniques and things to try and suggestions. That would be an awesome resource for new people. If you have any questions for me in terms of my experience or things I've learned or resources or anything else you want to know about YouTube as a platform, I'd be happy to answer. So definitely leave those comments or those questions in the comment section <laughs> as well. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. You can also, of course, find me over on Instagram at Meredith Phillips Writes, and you can sign up for my newsletter over on my website, MeredithPhillips.com. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you hopefully in the next videos over the course of the next year. Bye. And I have been on AuthorTube for one year now. <laughs> one year now. What? Still making dumb mistakes. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content from me, click the subscribe button. I've. If you'd like to see more content from me in. What do I say? What?